but it was one single mother who had changed her perspective of things forever. The woman was spotted sitting on a bench just outside of her ill son's room with her face buried in her hands, tears streaming down both cheeks one evening while Miss Dolan was visiting Kelly. The single mother shared with Miss Dolan how her three-year-old son had become very ill and how she was struggling to pay all of the high medical bills because she was recently let go from her job because she was missing too many work hours to visit the hospital. Shortly after the encounter with the single mother, Mr. and Miss Dolan learned that the boy passed away. He was only four. Mr. and Ms. Dolan were asked to attend the service, which they did, only to find an enormous amount of sorrow when the young boy's grave could not be marked because of money shortages. After taking in the young boy's situation, it only became harder for the Dolan family. Kelly became more ill and sadly passed away on October 5, 1976. A month later, Mr. Dolan introduced the idea about starting a fund to help kids who are chronically ill or seriously disabled to help with things insurance would not cover. Kelly's obituary brought in $8,000 to kick the fund off. Over their many years, they have raised over 27,000 family spirits. We have been helping with this great cause for 17 years as we started this tournament and great day in 2000 and have been doing it ever since. Over that span, we have, the, we have been the largest contributor and supporter for, for the Kelly and Dolan Memorial Fund. For last year's tournament, we raised over $27,300 and in total have raised $389,577. The fundraiser that so many of you will take part in on February 25th. It is not about basketball. It is not about a tournament. And it is not about winning. <laughs> it is about helping Mrs. Dolan and her wonderful organization help kids and families who are struggling. And being such a part, being a part of such a special event, which has become a tabloid tradition.